Welcome back everyone to Port Aventura Park here in Salou, Spain. If you haven't already, be sure to go check out part one of this video where we got to see our reaction to Ferrari Land as well as a first-hand look at Furious Baco and Shambhala. And we're here in front of Dragon Con and we're gonna be starting off part two here and we're also gonna do rides like Stampeda, uh, the new Sesame Street dark ride and get some night rides on Shambhala. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go start things off with a B&M sit down. Bag Grove Dragon Con. August has been resorted to Bag Lady. Yeah. It's been an honor. It's been an honor. Back row on, I almost said Kumba. Back row on Dragon Con. I can understand why. <laughs> that is so intense. It is very intense. I would still give a slight edge to Kumba because we were kind of comparing. A slight them. edge, but man, like this, it could be Kumba. Yeah, like, it's it's a very intense ride. I I still I remember the zero zero being so whippy, and that still holds up. Really that thing right. just yanks you to the side. Uh, that That's is like some great moments. Absolutely, it is so <laughs> fast paced. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I think that. This is absolutely one of those rides that is better than I remembered. Dragon Me Con too. is great. All right, now that we've knocked that out, it's time for our second ride here on Shambhala. And look at this sunset, this is golden hour that we're getting. Oh, it's beautiful lighting here. This is our second ride on Shambhala in up the single rider line. This would be like half, half an hour wait. I don't know if you guys are down for that. Sure, if it's gonna be shorter than the main line. So the way that our express passes work is essentially you get one ride on everything, although we have a couple water rides that are closed, so we get to do like Stampeda twice. So in part one, you got to see us skip Shambhala's line, and this is what the current weight looks for it. So we're gonna do single rider line. With the next three for single riders. We haven't even been here that long. How long? Maybe like... 20 minutes? Maybe. I don't think it's even been 20 minutes. Maybe 15? Yeah, 15, 20 minutes. That's this was a good Blair call. Did. Yeah, I approve. If the single rider line is available, definitely do it. Bye, August. Bye, August. say overall Sarah and I got pretty lucky with single rider spots you got yes. second row which is basically, basically the front, front. yeah that was great I think I actually liked it a little better up front but I still wouldn't say it's my number one BNM hybrid I have to say obviously nitro is my favorite because I can't not say that I think <laughs> home I think point, park bias I, but but I would say that Mako has Overall, better airtime. I will agree. And overall, you know, I can tell that the ride is running slower than when I was here in 2018 during the summer, which makes sense. It's colder now. So I would say the ride is not as good as I remember. I still love it. But I think Mako does definitely have the stronger airtime. So I'm leaning towards Mako as now being my new favorite, or going back to be my favorite. The but, thing with Mako is sometimes you get rides without the trims. Right. And it just flies through everything. We've also done Mako like a million times. Meanwhile, this is probably my maybe eighth or ninth ride ever on Shambhala. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's tough to compare. But I'm really excited for a night ride on this. You know, I've always wanted to go to China, and so far, this right here is the closest that I've gotten. Look, guys, we're on the uh, current world of China. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. I love this. Really pretty sunset over there in the distance. And look, there's pandas. Okay, I don't know what happened, but somehow we're in like a former restricted area because this definitely lo doesn't look like an area that should be open to the park. But I guess we're entering the Sesame Street area. Um, oh, that's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, there's literally a stop sign. There's literally a stop sign, guys. Why are we allowed to be here right now? Sesame Street, Street Mission Dark Ride. One of the only new attractions that has come to this park since I last came here. It's pretty much the biggest investment they've made since 2018. And 
I'm excited to give it a try. But first, look, more Shambhala and Dragon Con goodness. Jesus, this is so cool. Sesame Street, Street Mission. And it's got over an hour and a half wait and for some reason is not included on the express passes that we got. Which is kind of bizarre to me because it includes some other like questionable additions like water rides that are not open. And but other kitty rides. Yeah, and, and kitty rides. So I don't know what exactly the thought process was there. And the park's only open for an hour and a half so we obviously don't have the ability to really do that. So. Uh, our backup plan is we're gonna go try and do Stampeda and maybe Shambhala and then try and get in line for this like right before close. Whoa, in the middle of a theme park, it's a cat. <laughs> this is the express line. Holy crap. Why is everyone in Port Ventura in line for Stampeda right now? The wait time for this ride is currently listed at two hours. I sort of forgot that we decided to come to Port Ventura on a national holiday. And it's a holiday that doesn't exist in the United States, so that was poor timing. Yeah, this is all express, just to clarify. So at this point, we're deep into the line. We've been here for 30 minutes. The park is not open for that much longer, and this line is moving very slow. I'm very dedicated to ride Stampede at this point, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Just, uh, not, a, not a great situation. Alright, we figured out why the line's taking so long. They are only running one train. Yeah, this is not good. The fact that standby is like two hours, express is over half an hour, and they're just running one train. Like, come what on. What are they doing? It is, what, 6.45? Yeah. All right. We've been here for like, what, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, I think? So by the time we get off, we're going to have 10 minutes to make it to Shambhala. Wow, that's going to be tough. Alright, we just got out of Stampeda. We got Stampeda out of here. I know. We got 12 minutes to make it to Shambhala. Let me just say though, while we're going down the exit ramp here, uh, that's a cool night ride. It's a great night ride. Yeah, I, I like uh, how you crisscross with the trains. I know before I was kind of notorious of saying they should RMC this thing. Well, I still think it'd be a cool RMC. Uh, it's, that's not a bad CCI. Um, I really like this ride, especially at night. Yeah. I think it's a really solid night ride. Uh, I agree. Airtime is like, eh. Uh, we that first shot, though. First, okay. first drop had some airtime. Uh, we sat in the back. So, you know, a little rougher, but that's all right. It was cool. We're free from the queue. <laughs> Are there fireworks Fire. tonight? What? <sighs> oh, we still have so far to go. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't think they've closed off any lines because we still got wait times. Staying an hour and a half for Shambhala. Street mission over an hour. Dragon Con 40, oh jeez. It is so busy today. We made it to China. Even at night this area looks spectacular. We, it is uh, like 6.54 or 6.55 or something, so we should be able to make it. They don't close the lines early. Uh, uh, we made it. We made, <laughs> we made it. And it's only a 90 minute wait, but Singer Rider? Well, honestly, to be honest, I think they already closed the fast pass line, so no more fast pass people get in. I figure this we'll be done with this in like 15, 20 minutes. What well, was listed as a 90 minute wait earlier in the day from all of this is now empty and it's just this section. There's no express. So actually I can totally see this being not that long of a wait. Last ride of the night on Shambhala in the back car. This is gonna be cool. First ever night ride. Yay! Let's do this. We're on the brake run and they're releasing our restraints here and letting us off here instead of in the station. Is this this, this is like an evac? Is this, this an evac is so credit? Weird. So weird. <laughs> Why did they take us off on the break? Is this kind of an evac credit? I don't know. Like a, why not? Sort of. This, this is so oh, weird. Look, they're like releasing our restraints and we're walking on the catwalk <laughs> off of Shambhala. This is so bizarre. They just park it here and they're I'm like, not okay. Mad, but like, That's, because they don't want to send it around again? Like, I guess. So they can go home faster? <laughs> I don't know. They want to go home faster, so they just let us off there. 
bizarre. I've never <laughs> seen this at all. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. All right, so now that we're actually off of Shambhala in what is a very strange end to our night, uh, overall, that was probably my favorite ride of the day. A night ride on Shambhala in the back is totally awesome. I would agree. That was fantastic. I almost want to retract what I said earlier about Mako being back. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, know that. that was a really good ride. The one thing I will say is there, there are like little lights on the seat in front of you that like shine in your eyes, and I did not understand why. Yeah, they're filming you. They, so you like, can buy an on ride video. Oh, it's the flash is. for the video, so like it'll be good lighting for the on ride video. But. It's very strange. Can I, that? I don't want to be videotaped. I just want a dark run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But other than that, yeah, that was that was probably my favorite ride of the day. That was really fun. Yeah, I mean, you know, here at these European parks, so many of them close early. It's kind of rare when you get a night ride. Yeah. Uh, you have to come during a certain time of year, and so we found that uh, certain time of year. Indeed, we did. So Shambhala at night. Check. What is this? Look at this. We're in the Polynesian. I love that Chick-fil-A condiment. I love that Disney Resort. Back by Furious Baco. This is so pretty. I like this. You know, there's not a ton of Christmas decorations around this park, but you can definitely tell this is where the majority of them are. I like it. Look, there's Furious Baco. Would have loved to have gotten a second ride on it today, but, you know, when they're only open for so many hours and it's this busy, I guess you gotta prioritize. Look at this. These are pirate ship sails. That is cool. And so we've made it out of Port of Ventura World. You know, for being as busy as it was, I thought we absolutely made the best of the situation. We were able to get on the main things we want to. Uh, obviously, you know, we missed out on, like the Flying Theater in Far Land and like the Sesame Street Dark Ride and stuff, but also waiting two hours for that. Uh, I don't know about that. Hard to justify. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, three rides on Shambhala. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the night ride was awesome. We got two on Red Force earlier. Uh, one on Furious Baco, one on Dragon Con, one on Stampeda. So, uh, you know, they're open from, what, 11 to 7. So in eight hours, we were able to do all that. And thanks I... Thanks to Express. Thanks to Express. If you come here, I highly recommend Express because now... The two times that I've come here, both times I've had Express, and it made the day a lot easier. So I definitely recommend that enough. But enough about me. Sarah, this was your first time here. What did you think? It was beautiful. It, it's a gorgeous park. Um, the rides were all great. There was nothing like that was so insanely amazing as far as like roller coasters, but they were all great. How would I put it like that? Okay, yeah. Everything's like, I, very solid. Yes, everything was very solid. But um, I think Shambhala was probably my favorite yeah um that night ride was great um red force was also really fun Furious baco i kind of forgot about it <laughs> <laughs> Sad. But it's not bad it's not bad it just it it didn't do enough that it just like stayed in my mind but it's a gorgeous park it was my first introduction to like european theme parks other this is a very know. strong one to yeah. to do you it's know? extremely wealthy it's like disney universal level as far as like the facade of everything. It's Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, so, you know, if you ask like an, a roller coaster enthusiast out of the places in Europe, which ones you gotta do, it's pretty much like this Europa Park and like Fantasia Land. Yeah. So, you got one of the three. And as for the other two, maybe soon. There's your little uh, hint, hint. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios. Bye, August. Bye. We'll see you next summer. Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for being our tour guide. All right, yeah. guys, we'll see you next time.